Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to the Glorious Revolution as Hanover soon to be Germany because today will be the day. We have very few cores left to grab here. Our coring speed is ridiculously fast and Europe can no longer stop me. So, well, assumably they can't stop me. I don't think they can. Well, if they'd like to give it a shot, then I'd welcome them, but I don't think it's going to happen. That clears things up. So, let's go for you. Going for some pretty immediate uh, immediate plans here. Because you have very few allies, so obviously we can just get rid of you immediately. Because the plan here is we need Stuttgart. And, oh my god, yeah, it's going to be so easy to just destroy these guys. Let me move here, get rid of you, siege this. Can we get to Denauvet? I have no idea. Is this even possible? Yes, okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, actually, let me just get rid of your army first, and then we can, you know, talk about the rest of it. I don't think they have many... Yeah, they have no men left, actually. Uh, new tech, but I would definitely prefer to slam down some more mercantilism. It's basically free income. More cores. And that does make this a much easier thing to look at. Alright, so... This one. This one. Uh, we do need München, though, don't we? Yes, yes we do, okay. So, uh, we're coring Niederhessen and Frankfurt. I need to take Stuttgart, München, uh, and Strasbourg, right? Yes. Because either Strasbourg or I invade the Commonwealth, so it's not going to happen. Okay, that's, uh, that's fine with me then. I imagine I can full annex already. Yeah, but I don't even have to wait, so. I will do so. It is only 10 AE, which is pretty good. If you remember last episode, I popped a little thing called a, uh, well, not called, but I popped the mission. The one down here for 20% AE impact decrease. So you bet I'm going to be using it pretty extensively. I'm just going to try and create a cycle here of... Uh, like, literally just annexing everything. Everyone. Indiscriminate annexation. Everyone in Germany is now going to belong to me. Uh, I do need to grab these. And do I have level 5s all over the place? Level 4. I can't actually upgrade you, which kind of sucks. Let me see if I can get a... A disciplined guy who's upgradable. Because that would be really nice. Swedish Separatists. I haven't heard that name in a long time. Let's hope he makes it there on time. Uh, I should have a third stack. Yeah, you can move over here. I don't... Yeah, no, we don't have uh, Free Force March yet because it is not the Age of Revolutions. So... It is what it is. Did you barrage? There's no way you barrage for that. No, they'd get a plus three if they barraged, so... Just a random wall breach. I'll take that for siege ability. Make my life much easier here. Conversion successful. Let's keep converting. How are we doing here? Protestant, okay, nice, nice. This is actually, this is actually, like, really pleasing. I'm not gonna lie, just looking at the solid blue over here. Oh, that is nice to look at. Anywho, governing capacity sucks. Yeah, but that's nothing new. Let's move you guys down to here. I am surprised you have so many units. But I guess it is Brabant. That's carrying this whole thing. Uh, so I guess I could siege them. So Nuremberg will be annexed uh, in one way or another. Not sure which way I'm going to do it, but I'll do it eventually. 
I'm really surprised Austria hasn't broken this yet, to be honest. We're like, we're just barely clinging on. I'm going to keep that there. I'm not going to uh, retract that. I'm going to maintain that diplomat. Alright, admin can always be used for something, I'm sure. Uh, I mean, dev doesn't really matter as much. Stab, I guess? At this point, maybe stab is worth more than any dev. I guess so. And we do need to improve our Republican tradition. It is kind of trash. There's our siege there. I need to move you into here, I guess. Or I could stop them. I guess I could stop them. More cores, very nice. Which does decrease this cost. These cores aren't going to finish for a while. Sure, screw it. Peace from Nuremberg. Right, yeah, here's the thing I'm talking about. So, 7 over here or uh, 14. That is literally double. I don't think it's a crime to take it like this. In fact, it's so much faster to do it this way. 27 AE. That is minuscule. That is so tiny. Alright, well, nice, I guess. More conversions. Another conversion. We're just sort of standing here. We're not doing much. Let's see if I can go and grab these guys. Three maneuver. I have one maneuver, so... It's hard. I don't think I can make it. I have to force march just to catch him. There we go. Four percent. Uh, my trader dies. I really don't want my trader to die. I'll take that prestige hit. Also, um, yeah, I should have done this a long time ago. There we go. Get that power projection back up. I'm just gonna very casually walk over here. There's no rush. Pomeranian separatists. Well, how convenient. There we go. And I'll take your capital. Or not. Okay, that that's cool. That works. Where are you going there, Brabant? Trying to run away? I don't think so. Alright, 14% over here. That's going to take a little while. Konstanz. There we go. Finally done. I could probably full annex right now. Is that something I can do? Yeah, I can. I can also take some of this land. And no one seems to care very much. Uh, I mean, the Papal State would be able to join, but that's the only difference so far. It doesn't say that Austria would break my alliance, but I, I'm pretty suspicious about that. So I'm sort of getting, like gonna act that they act like they're going to anyway. So uh, annex you and all of these and like that land. So cool. Thank you for all of that. Bop. Oh no! Over a hundred overextension. Whatever will I do? Annex more countries. That's what I'm gonna do. Also, this this hurts me. I don't like this. And I don't like it because I don't know how you got there. It is more than beyond me how you were able to do this. We don't have unrestricted coring yet. Unless... Unless you annexed Switzerland and then you were forced to release it. That's possible. Nope. That is not at all what happened. How did you do... Uh, I'm, too, I'm so confused. How did you do that? This has been here for a while, too. It's not like this is recent. This was before the destruction of the HRE. How? Huh? Hmm. 
Hmm, I, I don't like that. That's uh, really uncomfortable, actually. But alright. That sure does exist. Now, the thing is, I actually do need to invade you. Because I need to get to München. Um, and we're sort of being guarded here. Maybe I can't invade them. Yeah, because they've been, you know, completely encircled by Thuringia and Austria. So I actually can't form Germany for like 10 years. Well, that's annoying. Unless I get into a war with Austria. And you know, hey-ho, that's a plan. Sometimes. Not always a very good plan. But it is a plan. Invading Austria, how would that look? Uh, I'll do it when Austria breaks the alliance, and then I'll declare on like an ally or something. I'll declare on the Palatinate, that's what I'll do. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just going to annex more people, because I need to invade Strasbourg anyway, so. Uh, you see, this is a problem, actually. Yeah, you're allied with the Palatinate, and I don't want that, so instead... I'm going to declare on Ansbach. And invade you anyway. And... There they go. Alright, that's cool. Slam down a bit more mercantilism. Get rid of those separatists. Uh, we're doing pretty well in terms of our unrest, because most of this, if not all of it, is... Well, most of, all of it's actually German. Most of it's Protestant. So it's really easy to annex. Ansbach is done, and then we just have Switzerland to deal with. So, rest in peace, Switzerland. Going for their very easy to siege capital. Well, they should have high defensiveness because, well, dude, look at that. Look at that. Defensive mental. Oh, never mind, it's over. But, anyways, look at it again. Actually, no, I can't. But that was like 70% defensiveness. It was less because of my. Uh, well, that, no, that means it was like 85. What? Dude, 85 defensiveness on a single province. That is stupid good. Let's see this as well. Right over here. Trading in paper for admin tech costs, not bad. Very cool. Uh, I can't declare on you for a little while. Can I declare on you? I can. And it would bring in Turingia. Ooh. Okay, that's a better idea than what I had in mind. Wait, do we have good generals now? Oh my god, we have decent generals. So I'm a big fan of this. Uh, we're going to declare on Aachen and then take this land and then invade Munich. That's what we'll do. So unfortunately, you know, we might not form Germany before 1700, but... You know, not a bad haul, I'd say, for what we've gotten so far. What's next on this? Uh, land force, discipline. I mean, yeah, I can go up to, like, almost 400,000 men. Okay. Interesting. Peace from Switzerland. Not much I can do with you. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of your alliances and stuff. Actually, I don't really need anything from you. I'd rather just be able to annex you sooner. So, no need to worry. Also, I really hope you guys don't hear, but I think people are doing construction uh, sort of near my house-ish. So it's really loud for me. Hopefully not for you guys, because that would be really unfortunate. Alright, 21 over there. Uh, influential families, mm, that's a hard one, actually. 
I'll take the admin loss because I don't care too much about the admin. Uh, let's get ourselves the half cost tax dude so that he saves me money. Truce with Britain is done. Okay. Interesting one. Um, I'm not going to be invading Britain for a little while. That's for damn sure. Cores are done. Uh, these cores will not move because we're at war with Strasbourg. I've also lost a general. Let's get a new one. Oh, dude, I actually have good generals now. That's crazy. And how's the money looking? 318 in the English Channel. Pretty solid. Let's go and siege that down real quick. This siege has actually taken a really long time. Uh, Bulgar, you guys can... I don't know. Give me tax or something? Sure. Let's get some inflation. Oh, you know what I could do? I completely forgot. I don't know why I forgot, but, you know, just reduce inflation. That's something I can do. Uh, I'm also not entirely sure if I want to keep admin focus. I think I'm just going to reduce it down to zero focus. Because I don't need that admin, but I could use a little bit more mill. Okay, we're finally done here. Uh, we're going to do it this way for less AE. Will I lose an ally due to AE? Doesn't say. So I'm just going to assume nope. Sometimes it does tell you, sometimes it doesn't. I guess it was truthful in this case. Uh, what else can I do here? Because I'm really trying to keep uh, Austria as an ally as long as possible. Because I have a feeling uh, they're going to be like one of the catalysts to, um, to start any sort of coalition. Because they're right in the middle of things. So if they break alliance... Then we'll have five years to clean up, like, everyone in the HRE, or else it's just going to be really annoying from now on. Also, speaking of annoying, we have these guys over here. Which I'm going to have to go and deal with. Oh yeah, there's also Picardy. Uh, right, let's move you over here. We're gonna use the boats for that one. We're gonna send you up into here. Hopefully I can just, you know, stack wipe this army or something. Get rid of one stack if I can't get rid of the others. I don't know why you decided to walk into that. That was a terrible decision, but okay. Alright, we've pretty much sieged all of this. You guys can stand here. And there. Okay. And we're sieging this down. Let's move you guys over here. This fort's really annoying, actually. Can I... Can I just, you know... You know. Can I... Can I just sort of... I don't really care about this land. It's not even German. This is like Czech, I think, right? Yeah, it is. So I don't care about it. I'll take that. Is that okay? No, because of full annexation. Oh, you're really making my day uh, tedious. Okay. All right. Let's... Actually, no. Let's make this as short as possible, as per usual. All right. Let's do it. Thank you for the land. 124% overextension. Those are rookie numbers. We need to get those up. I need to declare on you. And apparently it brings in Turingia again. Jeez, these guys cannot catch a break. You have the worst alliances, to be honest. Let's send these guys over here. A minor inconvenience. A minor indeed. We push forward. We're going for... Lanshut, because it doesn't actually... No, no, no. Yes, Lanshut. That's what we're going to do. 
Memmingen and Montferrat. Montferrat being Italian. And Memmingen being right there. Okay, uh, let's bring this army down to Memmingen. I could take... Yeah, I don't need to take that, actually. We're going to wait one more year, and hopefully that's all we need to take this. Uh, you guys are conveniently placed. We'll take care of you. I'll grab this. We're going to bring you down here. We're also going to bring you back over here, because we're going to have a lot of unrest issues. Well, speak of the devil. Let's go take care of you. And then finally we can come back down here. Alright. Declare on you for Lancet. Basically, rest in peace all these guys. Ooh, a looming disaster. Finally we get court and country, now we do? Well, you're a little late though, aren't you? Uh, what's the problem here? Oh, right, yeah, the ridiculous amount of overextension. That tends to be the issue. Well, I did say I wanted it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, but at this rate, it's kind of useless, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we have to wait like 10 years at least until uh, we get rid of the age of imperialism, so. It'd be really funny if it actually does fire. It probably is going to fire, which is even funnier. But uh, it's very easy to solve that. We're just going to have to piece out Turingia separately. Let's have you deal with those. Uh, but yeah, we need to, you know, pour a bunch of this stuff so that we don't have the ridiculous amount of overextension. It doesn't help that my president is cruel, so I mean... be a lot cooler if he wasn't. Let me see if I can get an unrest guy. Because at this rate, I actually don't want court and country when there's such little time left in the Age of Absolutism. What do we get here? No one useful, okay. More cores are done, very nice. I might be able to just, you know, reduce this directly. Okay, never mind. We, we might just not need him at all, so there's that too. Alright, let's take care of you. Overreacting as always, yeah, you know, always overreacting with that 114% uh, overextension. It's not even that bad. It's really not. See, look, all the cores are coming in. We're fine. Uh, you guys are close enough to deal with that. We're chasing people around. That's always very fun. One for that and Turingia. Okay. One for that. The Enlightenment did not spawn in my country. Very close, though. All right, well, we're just going to be taking this from them anyway, so... You know, it's it's basically the same thing. I basically spawned it. <laughs> All right, techs. Very nice. Uh, no new infantry, but new tech is always fun. That sure is a lot of separatism. I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright, we'll have to take you down. We can finally move in here, because we've occupied the whole country. Pay off elite troops. Yeah, manpower is inconsequential. Don't know why I keep saying that, but... Doesn't matter nearly as much. So I can keep this guy. I think I will. He's also an inspiring leader, which is cool. So I think I will keep him. And in this case, I'm actually going to bump this up, just so I can keep my Republican tradition a little higher. There's a tire for today, but we're kind of very close to forming Germany, so I, you know, kind of want to keep going until it's done. 
Uh, sorry, wait, what do I need? Okay, Stuttgart is being cored. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be cored. Uh, Alright. I can just end this, this war right now. Like, I don't actually have to, you know, wait out the whole thing. Um, as long as we keep them alive in one province, then that's fine. We can do this. Austria probably will join at this point. Well, they're minus 18. Yes, Austria is going to join. Uh, what did I do to do that again? You know, obviously, other than allying the rival and all those issues, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to take that land. Thank you. And core all of it. 173% rookie numbers. Also, uh, I need to make sure that I actually am core Minchin, which I am. Nice. Okay, so we've gone in very aggressively converted. Well, converted. Uh, invaded basically all of Germany. And it is likely that Austria is going to break alliance. Well, I expect them to anyway. Don't know if they will. And we're going to have a lot of overextension issues. The knights, um, dude, I think we've been over this. I just, I just, I'm just not going to do it, you know? I'm just going to pretend that never happened. So I'd like you to stand here and deal with rebels from this location. I would like you to stand here and do that as well. I'd like you to do the same thing from the capital. Exactly like the Aachen or uh, separatists here. Very nice. Also, um, with all of my trade regions here, I can actually do some interesting stuff. So I would like to create army tradition, I think. Because I don't care about Marine's force limit. Uh, yeah, not, not at all, to be honest with you. So, army tradition. I'll take in every area here, actually. All three of them. Because that's useful. And I'll actually be spamming production efficiency in a lot of these. Because that, like, that'll actually be useful. Maybe not so much for these ones up here, but I'll buy them anyway. Um, and there's also... Isn't it like goods produced? Oh, it's trade power. Same area effect, local production efficiency. Yeah, we'll take that as well. Just drop a little bit of that in these areas. More along the useful ones, because I don't have... Well, maybe I do have enough money. Okay, yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So that might give us something. Oh, you know, like 50 ducats. Okay. Yeah, like just, just 50 ducats a month. Not much, you know, just something. A little bit here and there. Uh, there it is, Austria. I totally knew it. Uh, I knew that was going to happen, so... It is what it is. I don't think I can do anything to improve this, except for just bump up their tr uh, trust of a whole bunch. And since I'm not going to use the favors, I mean... I could do that, right? Ah, oh, there we go. Six. They'll keep it. Cool. Anything I need, I'll take it. So, we will be forming Germany today, thankfully. At least we should be able to. Yes, just München, and then we can form Germany. Cool. Alright. Let's speed things up a little bit, just to get that coring process through and through. I've used pretty much all of my admin, uh, uniting the region, so... Don't think I can do much more expansion right now. I think I took around, like, 800 dev... There's no way that's true, right? Because I, I, I remember taking a look at my great power status before starting last episode. And I'm pretty sure it was nowhere near what it's looking like right now. So I doubt I took 800 dev, but I also wouldn't completely say it's impossible. Alright. You guys can be taken care of. Conquer them too, indeed. There goes one of my advisors, unfortunately. He was half cost, so he was kind of cool, but oh well. 
Uh, what do we want at this point? I actually will take the Republican tradition. Stab cost. Production efficiency. I'll take production efficiency. That's like my entire treasury right there. But we're making some good money, so I don't feel too bad about it. Alright, more things are done. Uh, I actually am just going to have to take all of these missions. I think. Right? So. Oh well. Concord that. Just got to wait for Minchin. It's getting close. My AE is redonkulous. Jeez, look at that AE. I've just been conquering Germany and even Spain hates me for it. Okay, that's cool. Very nice. Just gotta get up to 45 here. Salzburg, Passau, Landshut, München is coming along. And what are we doing here? Okay. Ooh, finally we can form Germany. But uh, I'm not really sure. Do I want to keep my Dithmarsh ideas? Probably not. I'm pretty sure the German ideas are disgustingly more broken than the Dithmarsh ones. They're nice, you know. They're, they're good ideas. But the German ideas are much better, I think. So we're going to slap that. We're going to slap that. Uh, we're going to take Imperial Conquest. And I can't do this because... All of these are technically in Europe, so it doesn't really work like that. But we can form Germany. Yes, please, I'll get new traditions and ambitions, which, yes, they actually are broken as hell. Yeah, okay, never mind. They're, they're dummy good, holy. Um, yearly Republican tradition plus 0 0.3, so I get that anyway. I get the infantry combat anyway. I get the... Yeah, we get better infantry combat. National unrest, tech cost, discipline, trade efficiency, yearly army tradition, okay, nice. Um, the Reichstag, for 5% admin efficiency and 20% goods produced. Christ, that is some good stuff. Uh, and there we go. We basically got rid of our old mission tree and we have the new one, which is nice. And we get permanent claims on literally all of Europe. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's really nice. And I think, hold on, I just want to check. Yes, the best part of all is that we're still a peasant's republic. It is beautiful. We might have to ditch our peasant republic form once we go revolutionary, but there it is for now. Peasants Republic Germany looking mighty fine. For now, though, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a shout out to all of the patrons for the month of August. Starting with those in the Admiral tier, T-Lord4, Ben Greenhagen, Car Newley, Tiger Pop, and Davin Collins. Those in the General tier, Justinian, Brennan Arcano, Torvalt, and Farron. Those in the Prince tier, Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis. In the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot as always, and the Mad Lads in the Conqueror of Worlds tier, we have the Mysterious, Corbite, and the Watcher. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it means a ton to me, and I cannot possibly thank you enough.